Hey guys, I'm Denisha. Welcome to our new series on ACT. We are so glad that you're here joining us this week. In this series, we're going to learn about the early church, the apostles, and the power of the Holy Spirit. We're going to start by singing a song about our memory verse in Acts 1.8. It says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere. Let's sing it together. That was a great song. Whenever we sing our memory verse song, we can think about the Holy Spirit's power and how the Holy Spirit can help us. The Holy Spirit is our helper from God that gives us strength to share God's love and helps us to make the right choices. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do so much. Now we're going to watch our Bible story so we can learn more about the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's check it out. Slapstick Theater. Peter escapes from prison. This is Peter, hey who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. There was a king named Herod who tried to stop anyone who tried to tell others about Jesus. He arrested Peter and took him to jail to be executed. While Peter was in prison, the people of the church prayed for him. The night before Peter was supposed to go to trial, he was sleeping. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood before him. The angel woke Peter up and said, Quick, get up. The chains fell off Peter's wrists. Whoa! Then the angel told him to get up and get ready to go and to follow him. So Peter left the cell, but all the time he thought was happening wasn't real and that it was just a vision. They passed by the guards, and when they came to the iron gate, 
It opened for them on its own. Wow! Awesome! They were walking through the street when the angel suddenly left him. Wait, what was happening? Peter finally realized that this was all really happening and that God had sent an angel to save him from what King Herod and the Jewish leaders had planned to do to him. Wow! He went to the home of Mary, where many believers were together praying. When Peter knocked at the door, a servant girl came to answer. Hey, uh, let me in! Peter! When she realized it was Peter, she was so excited that she ran inside to tell people instead of letting Peter in. Uh, I'm sure I her. It's Peter! The people inside thought the girl was wrong and said, It must be Peter's angel. But Peter kept knocking. When the people finally opened the door, they were amazed. Peter told them about what happened and all about how God sent an angel to rescue him from prison. What a great Bible story. That Bible story helps us to better understand how powerful the Holy Spirit is and how the Holy Spirit can help us in so many ways. Now it's time to learn more about the power of the Holy Spirit by watching Greg hunt for power in today's episode of Power Up. Power hunting is an elusive sport because power is something that is not seen. So let's go ahead and see what Greg has to say. Hi, I'm Greg, professional power hunter, and this is Power Up, the only show where we go hunting for power all over the globe. So come alongside me, my cameraman Dan, as we go on the hunt for power. Let's power up, let's go. at a remote construction site. On today's episode, I, Greg, I'm gonna produce energy. I know what you're thinking. Greg, how are you gonna do that? You're not Pikachu. You can't produce electricity out of a tail. I know that, but here's the deal. Pikachu is a rodent. What do rodents do? They run on hamster wheels. So today, we are gonna find ourselves a hamster wheel. Let's go, Dan. Oh, we got it, a traditional hamster wheel. Now, it took us a while to get. After going to a few pet stores, we found one. So, now we're gonna transfer energy from this hamster wheel to that light bulb using kinetic energy. Kinetic energy pretty much means transferring energy using motion. How are we gonna get the motion? By running on the hamster wheel. So, we got our power up official wires right there. Hooked up, everything's ready to roll. Now the last thing left, harnessing our inner hamster right here. So we're gonna start running on there like a hamster would. There we go. And as you can see, look at that. We got some flickers. But we need a bigger hamster here. So we gotta roll as fast as we can, but it might not be strong enough. Dan, we're losing power. And it's out. <sighs> Dan, I thought the hamster wheel was gonna work. We were very, very close, but we gotta go back to the drawing board. We need to figure out how to create kinetic energy by using motion. I'm going to the think chair. Dan, let's go. So we're in the think chair right now, and we've been studying hamsters a lot. We learn that a hamster can power a light bulb all on its own using kinetic energy. But like we learned from my experiment, I couldn't even turn a light bulb on using my strength. Sometimes I'm just not strong enough, and life feels like a hamster wheel. But here's the deal, there's only one thing that you can do, and that's turn to God's power. We know that there were a lot of people in the Bible that turned to God during tough times, and one of those guys was named Peter. He was one of Jesus' disciples, and he told many people about Jesus. Peter was eventually arrested by King Herod, and put in prison. The night before Peter was supposed to go on trial, God sent one of his angels to help him. The angel busted Peter out of the prison, and then Peter continued to tell others about the good news of Jesus. The Holy Spirit totally helped Peter out and gave him the strength he needed to carry out Jesus' mission. Following God's plan for his life was no easy thing for Peter, but the Holy Spirit gave him the power he needed to get through it. Just like Peter, God has put a calling on your lives too. Sometimes we may find ourselves in similar situations. Okay, maybe not in prison, but we may feel confused about what God's asked us to do. The cool thing is, the power of the Holy Spirit will help us understand the plan that He has for our lives. God's Word tells us that God has our backs, that we can always rely on the power of the Holy Spirit to help us. If you want to know what God has planned for you, I would encourage you to read His Word and talk to Him. Ask Him to use the Holy Spirit to show you His plan for you. So many times, God's plan is so much bigger. Bigger! Dan, we need a bigger hamster wheel! So we had to go bigger! 
and it seems to be working. We have to flip our kinetic energy switch. Boom! Here we go! The kinetic energy is transferring! Not now, Dan! Don't ask about the Pikachu suit! And it's moving! The energy is transferring! Yes! The kinetic energy is working! We almost have a full-size Santa Claus! Dan! We did it! Using kinetic energy and the power of motion, we just blew up a life-size Santa Claus. That does it for us on Power Up. And remember, by using the Holy Spirit, you can do more than you could ever imagine. I'm Greg. We'll see you power uppers on the hunt for power. Let's go, Dan. That's too steep. We gotta go around. Wow, that was awesome. We got to see Greg in full-on power hunting mode. Greg also helped us learn more about the power of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit gives us the strength to do what is right. Remember, the Holy Spirit is the helper from God who gives us strength and helps us to make the right choices. With the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we can do so much. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.